Hello and welcome to this video on how to set up a drawing in Revit. In this case I have created a sewer plan. For example I have the different type of pipes. So in this case I have the drainage pipe. I have the wastewater pipe. And also I have a rain, rainwater pipe. Furthermore, I have some description that describes the different slopes and also the levels of the roof gully and inspection chamber and so on. If I scroll down in uh, my project browser, I have also created a legend. And in the legend, I have placed small uh, illustration, for example, of the foundation and uh, bit of text that describes the foundation and the different uh, pipes um, and all the relevant parts in the in the sewer plan. So now I want to create a sheet where I have both the drawing and also the legend. So I will scroll down in the project browser and then I will click on sheet. And to create a new sheet I have to right click and then select new sheet. And within this window, I can select some of the different uh, VIA templates. Um, and I think I will select the one called 630 times 420 and then click OK. So the next part is to place the sheet so it is uh, located underneath the plants. If I look in the project browser, at the moment, the the sheet is located underneath the question marks, so I'll just click on the on the sheet, and then in the property bar on the view types, I can select the, the plans because this is a sewer plan, so I want to place it underneath the, the plans. And now, if I go back to the project browser, I can see that the this sheet is located underneath the, the plan folder. So the ne next thing I want to do is to give it a name. So I'll just um, right click and say rename. And the drawing number I will give it 1.03. You may have another system but um, just make sure that you have a certain type of systems for the for the drawing numbers. And the name, um, I will call it Foundation and Sewer Plan. And then click OK. And if I zoom into the drawing header, I will now see that the subject has been updated automatically. And also the, the drawing number is the drawing number that I just gave the, the sheet. So the next part, I will just fill out the, the other information in the drawing header, for example, my name. And also I want to fill in the class. It could be first semester. And the scale, um, it will update automatically once I've ha I have placed the um, the sewer plan within the sheet. So to place the sewer plan, um, I have to scroll up in the project browser and just click once on the plan that you want to uh, move into the sheet. And then I can basically just drag it into the sheet while I'm holding down the, the mouse button. And then I can place it within the sheet. So, in this case, I can see that it's actually possible to have a smaller size uh, paper, at least in the height. I don't need to have this upper part right here. So, um, to change the height of the sheet, I will just have to click on it. And then in the property, I can select edit type. And because I want to change the dimension of this sheet, um, I might as well just duplicate it and create a new sheet. So in this case, 
the width of 630 millimeters is okay, but the height, um, this is sufficient only with an A4 sheet, um, and this is 297 millimeters. And I have actually, actually created one of these before, so I'll just call it 01. So I have a unique name, and then click OK. And now I want to change also the height uh, within the dimensions. So this one will be 297. Now click OK. And you can see the height of the sheet has changed. The next part, I just want to uh, move the text right here of the viewport and just click on it and then you can just drag it. If you don't want, for example, to show the scale, you just click on it and in the property, you can select, uh, for example, title and then it will only show the title of, um, of this drawing. But I think in this case, I will also uh, show the scale. So the next part is to place uh, the legend. So if I scroll down in the project browser, and again, just uh, drag the legend into the sheet. You can always move it around so until you're happy with the location of it. But just make sure that the legend is placed within this area right here, which will be the, the front page of the folded drawing. And only the legend should be placed here, and then you have the drawing in the other part of the paper. Um, in this case, I have the, the viewport um, placed in the bottom, and I just want to move it to the top, like this. And in this case, I, will, I don't need to have the, the scale, because it's, the scale is also listed in the drawing header. So again, I will go to the property and select only title. And now I have um, a drawing set up um, and ready to print.